here another Tuesday equals another retired tossback Tuesday set review for you guys now today for my retired set I will be reviewing uh, I will be reviewing a Lego Space Police set released in 2009 this is set number 5972 Space Truck Getaway has 282 pieces and retailed uh, in 2009 for $35.99 if you guys would like to see and uh, buy this set for yourself afterwards, after this review. You guys can buy it on Amazon as well as on eBay. They're not currently in stores, obviously, because this was released in 2009. But anyways, we're just going to get right into the minifigures, talk about this set. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and do that now. This set comes with two minifigures, both of which that are not exclusive to this uh, specific Space Police set. You can get them in other Space Police sets. However, in my opinion, this is definitely the best set to get them in because of the build. The build is one of my favorite Space Police sets that have ever been released. But anyways, starting with uh, Snake here. Yes, his name is Snake. He is the criminal. He actually looks more like a spider with all those eyes on his head you can see right there. He has a very, very nice uh, spiky headgear piece right here, as well as a visor that you can put down. Although, you do see his forehead whenever you put it down, which is kind of weird. I like putting it up a little bit so you can see his mouth, but it does cover up his eyes. So that is pretty cool. Really, really liking his headpiece. Now, if you take off his headpiece, you can see his head printing. You can see that he does look like a spider or something in there. He's got one big eye in the middle and three on either side, as well as a mouth that is open with four sharp teeth coming out of it. Uh, no double-sided head printing, but you can see the back printing on there. You can just see the muscle indentions. So, uh, yeah, you can see on the front that he has a very, very big, large eye on his torso as well. No side arm or leg printing, but he does have very, very cool uh, leg printing. You can see the skull down there. Most of the Space Police villains have that leg piece. It is very, very cool. You can see the chain, some armor, as well as the skull right there. So, very, very nice printing on Snake. Now, the second and final minifigure that is included in this set is just basic uh, Space Police Officer. Now, a lot of the things that I've read, he actually goes by um, the name of Rookie Officer. They don't actually have names, although I was a huge Space Police fan whenever I was out. I have almost every single set that came out, and in the little animations on LEGO.com, they called him Cody. So I like to call him Cody, although he is, um, at least in like the encyclopedias and stuff like that, he is called uh, Rookie Officer. So, I don't know, he's just a young guy, I guess. He comes with a little uh, bazooka or something. Uh, some type of flick fire me mechanism, a little missile or something, so you can see how weapons have changed since then. So, uh, yeah, just basic with the transparent uh, green cone piece on there. So, as for the minifigure himself, he is just a very, very generic uh, space police officer we've gotten a lot of times in other uh, space police sets. Each of them uh, had does not have different printing, although they do have different printing on their heads. You can see that he actually has um, a double-sided head printing, so that is very, very cool. He has a very, very scared expression. Sadly, Cody is here, or the rookie officer, is one of the most common to get in sets. I actually, I have like three of him or something. It's kind of ridiculous, kind of disappointing, but, you know, he is pretty cool. I like his headpiece. You can see he has a little bit of an oxygen tank here, and then whenever you flip him around, you can see the back printing and the front printing once again. So you guys can see the Space Police logo right there. It is very, very cool. So that is pretty much it for the minifigures. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the space truck in the space truck getaway. So here is Snake's space truck. It is a very, very nice build. Lots and lots of detail you can see from the spikes on the very, very front to the wonderful box back here that is actually hiding something that the space police uh, officers want back that um, Snake has just stolen. You can see the very, very cool flames back here that we have gotten quite a few times, as well as these are actually stickers on the back of graffiti. Nothing really on the back, it's pretty plain. Now as you move it over here, it's pretty much symmetrical build except for this chain here. It's just overall very, very nice contrast of all the colors in there. I actually really like the red. 
red, yellow, gray, and black mostly, as well as these blasters on the front. Just gives it a very, very intimidating look. Looks very, very cool. One of my favorite Space Police builds, other than the headquarters, which was actually the series after this one. So, anyways, let's go ahead and look a little bit closer into this truck. We'll start up here on the very front. You can see back here we've got some, like, smokestacks or uh, parts of the vehicle back there. As I was showing you in the turnaround, you have the spikes, or the 360 view, I mean. You have the spikes here as well as some blasters. Now, there's a bunch, a bunch of stickers in these Space Police sets. There always has been. Um, but you can see the wing formations or the blaster formations on the sides here that give it uh, the availability to fly because, of course, this is in space, so all these vehicles should be able to fly unless they are having a battle on the planet. Now, in order to get Snake in there, you just pop up the top, which is very, very cool. You've got the headlights and stuff on here. This is a printed piece as well. And then you can just take Snake and you can slide him in there, except that he doesn't usually fit, so you got to take that off as well. Place him in there, and close him up. So, very, very cool. Really, really like that. It was actually kind of interesting whenever I was building it. I was much younger. I always thought I, 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 always thought I built it wrong, because this came in front of the windshield, or like over the windshield. Just a little bit of an interesting touch that LEGO uh, made on that. I actually really, really like these side... Uh, side view mirrors right here are very, very cool. Really, really like how LEGO designed those. Coming over onto the side here, you can see the jet booster back here with the very, very cool flame that we've seen many times coming out. Like I was saying, there are a lot of stickers. This is a sticker right here, as well as three stickers right here. You can see the graffiti on the little box uh, storage tank that this is. Uh, this vehicle is uh, hauling as well as some more uh, structural um, techniques. On the other side, it is pretty much the same thing. Same build down here. And uh, yes, that is pretty much it. Although you do see a chain over here on the front cover of the box. It shows the uh, space police officer hanging onto the chain, like so, as they fly along. So the uh, vehicle is flying, and he's hanging back here about to uh, blow it up or, you know, retrieve what is inside. But now let's go ahead and take a look what is inside. As we open it up, it reveals a laser cannon. Now this is actually the police's. This was actually the space police's because you can see up there it says police. Now it actually has some marks markings on it you can see and that is how many kills or how many police how many uh, police vehicles they've blown up with it or something like that um, I remember watching this in one of the videos a long time ago on uh, spacepolice.lego.com or lego.spacepolice.com whatever something like that uh, but yeah it, they were just wrecking stuff with it but anyways you can see over here is the green uh, laser bolt that's coming out of it as well as back here the police color so you do know that it is the police you can see the space police symbol right there is all scratched out because it is now the aliens so on the inside of the box is pretty much plain there is nothing really going on except for the technic pieces right here that allow this to go up and down like so now there is actually in there some uh, control panels and all sorts of stuff like that so snake can you know gear this thing and uh, arm it. In the videos they also had them um, sitting on top of there. You can't actually sit them on top, but you can put them on the studs that are right there. So that is pretty cool. You guys want a back view of it. There you guys go. That's just the inside. You can actually see Snake in there. It goes all the way through to the cockpit. So Snake, while uh, someone else is driving, someone can be back here, you know, manning the gun. So they opened this up mid-flight and uh, destroy the space shuttles last view with it open like that and all you do is literally just close it it's on some hinge joints and uh, yeah one more 360 and that is about it for this tossback tuesday lego space police review so 
that is it for this week's Tossback Tuesday Lego set review. Like I was saying, this was a Lego Space Police set released in 2009, was called the Space Truck Getaway, was set number 5972, had 282 pieces and retailed for $35.99. Like I was saying at the beginning, you can get this on Amazon for a pretty high price actually, as well as on eBay. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I am AAG Spitta. If you guys have not checked out my other Tossback Tuesday reviews, like the Lego Ninjago Ice Dragon and all sorts of other ones, make sure you guys click the link down in the description. It'll take you to the Tossback Tuesday playlist. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe so you never miss a video. Another Tossback Tuesday reti reti retired set review coming next Tuesday. See you till then.